I will show you how to solve classic Sudoku number four by Jovial by using set, which is set equivalence theory. Click on the link below if you want to try this puzzle yourself. And with that, it's solving time. So what we're going to do, if you remember in previous videos, is you're going to look for like candidates. And the easy way to do set on this puzzle is to look at the odds and the evens. So you're noticing in these rows, 2, 4, 6, and 8, they're all odd number digits, right? 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. And then you want to do is look down and see the columns that we have in, where there's some digits in the given grid. And you can see here in columns 2, 4, 6, and 8. You might also notice that there's some 9s that I'm capturing here, and that's okay, and I'll show you what we're going to do with those. Uh, I didn't come up with how to solve this one. I'll be honest, I saw it on the Sudokult discussion, and it was Philip Newman talking the ranks about uh, how to solve this puzzle. I will tell you, I did try solving this puzzle before using normal methods, and I failed miserably. And I've looked it up in a solver. It's rated extreme. You have to use really complicated strategies if you wanted to solve it by yourself. And that would include forcing chains, uh, almost lock sets, which is beyond what I normally teach in my tutorials. But I'm going to show you this method, and it's going to be a lot easier. So what you notice, if you remember, is now we're going to count, look at all the purples, how many givens we have, right? Uh, and before we do that, actually, let's look at which of the purples are the same as the orange. Because the idea is, because of set, we know these cells that are white, where the intersections are, are going to be the same, whether the orange or purple. We don't care about that. But the ones that are in purple, they're got to be in the orange somewhere. Because of set, you have four columns and four rows. They each have to contain the, the digits one through nine. All right? So we have a nine here. So we know the, this purple nine is equal to like being here in this orange because this orange is not part of the purple uh, columns, right? So you can just you can eliminate those. Like, don't worry about them. They kind of equally, they cancel each other out. Same thing with this nine down here and this nine. So now we've taken care of those nines. So now let's count how many given purples we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then how many blank orange squares do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. When you have the same amount of blanks as you do givens for the other color, then that's when set comes in handy. And so what we know, since all the purples are 2, 4, 6, and 8, all these uh, orange that we don't know have to be 2, 4, 6, and 8. And so we can solve, we can put those in. And I don't know, my computer's acting a little slow right now. I'm not sure why. All right. Okay, and I'll clear out the ones in red which don't belong in just a second. So let's look at the orange, right? The given orange is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So how many missing purple do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And you'll notice that the orange are all 1, 3, 5s, and 7s. So that means these purples have to be a mix of 1, 3, 5, and 7. And you can look, and it's two of each. There's going to be two ones. There's going to be two threes, two fives, and two sevens. And in some cases, that might come in handy where you got to count the, the number missing. Uh, you won't need it for this particular puzzle. So now we can get rid of all these reds because, you know, see like the two and eight, there's an eight here and a two there, right? And... By knowing what's in these purple and knowing what's in these orange cells, we've now made this puzzle substantially easier. In fact, so easy, it's not going to require more than just real common techniques to finish the rest of it out. No forcing chains, no almost lock sets, no crazy altered inference chains or anything else. I want to take a moment to tell you about my new Buy Me A Coffee page. Help support this channel. You buy me a coffee, it's about $5.00. Uh, go to the, the link in the description below, and it can help me create more resources for this channel. I'm looking in the future to consider adding more puzzles, 
more videos. I might even do a subscription-based service special to just smart hobby uh, patrons to the Buy Me a Coffee list. And if I can get $25 donations, I will start offering you personalized solving videos. I'll make a video for you. You give me a puzzle, and I'll make it for you. Thank you. I really appreciate all of you or your support over this time in my first year. And I want to continue offering that support and give you more resources. So please consider buying me a coffee. Now let's get back to the puzzle. So I'll keep the colors on uh, while we start solving. So look at uh, simple things first, right? An 8 here and an 8 here. Where's the 8 have to be? Got to be in this spot. And you'll notice right here, 6 here and a 6 here. There's only one place left for a 6. And yes, you could have solved those initially, no problem. But let's look at this this little block here. Uh, you notice this is a two eight naked pair now, and so this has to be a three five and a nine. You got a nine right there, so that's going to be a three and a five. You got a five down here, so this is a three and a nine, and you got a three right here, so this is a five and a nine. Okay, that's critical. So let's go over to this. You notice this is a four six naked pair. So what's left in here? 1, 5, and 7. You got a 7 right here. So that's a 1 and a 5. You got a, uh, a 1 right here. So this is going to be a 5 and a 7. And you got the 5 right here. So this is going to be a 1 and a 7, right? So this is a 1, 5, 7 naked triple. The only 3 remaining in this spot. What do you notice here? Now look at down column 8. You got 1, 3, 7, 1, 5, 5, 7, 1, 3, 5, 7. Four different digits in four squares. So that's a naked quad. We have now found a naked quad, one, three, five, and seven, which means the other two cells in this column have to be a six and a nine. Well, the nine's down here, so that's your six, and that's your nine. And that's gonna be huge, and here's why. Now let's look down column two. Where can a nine go in column two? Well, it can't go here anymore. It can't be here, it can't be here, there. It can be here, it can't be there, and it can't be here because of this nine. So we can solve that for a 9. And once you solve that for a 9, now we can start filling in. You see all these little naked singles start popping up. Pretty cool, huh? And it really starts opening this puzzle up. And so now, where can a 9 go down here? Because a 9 comes down column 2 and row 9. So this has to be a 9. All right. And then where can a 9 be up here? Right there. And it looks like we got almost all the nines. We've got one nine left. So now we've solved all the nines in this puzzle. And this doesn't seem very hard, does it? Okay, let's look up here. We have two spots remaining because this two eights acting as a naked pair of four and a seven. Well, we got a four right here. So that's your seven and that's your four. All right, eight, three, seven, three, sweet. Um, now what do we got here? We have a one, a seven and an eight. Here's a one and a seven. So this has to be an eight. And here's your seven. So that's a one. And there's your seven. Okay. And what's remaining in this block right here? Looks like a three. Um, we can remove now all the colors because I don't think the colors really need to help anymore. And you might be wondering, hey, Timberlake, why in the world are you, you solving this if you said it was already in the Sudoku session? Well, Phil Newman just said you could solve it with set. He kind of showed it, but he didn't show actually how to solve. So I wanted to kind of show you how to solve. So you look at a naked triple here, two, four, and five. There's a four, there's a five, there's a two. So this is going to be a two and a five. Uh, kind of solve that, that piece right there. And then I want to look. Let's come across uh, row eight. What are we missing? A two, three, and a four. We have a four right here, so that's got to be your four. And you got a two right here, so that's your three, and that's your two. Nice. And then you, uh, let's look across row, well, actually, let's see here. So you got a three here, and a three here, and a three down there. So your three's got to be in this spot, which helps us solve. And then um, there's only one place to look for this eight in column four, and the eight's in rows two and three. So this has to be an eight, which starts uh, creating a, a lot. And now that eight can only be in one spot here in block five. And now we can solve this 2 and solve that for an 8. Um, you, you can look right here, the 2, 4, and 6, and go, oh, this is a 2 because of of a uh, unique rectangle. Or you can just say, oh, there's a 2 right here, and a 2 can't be there, so the 2 has to be right here, right? That's the only place in row 4 for a 2. And so what does that create? A 4 to 6, 4 to 6, 4 to 6, 
So this, and you got a one five naked pair. So then this has to be your seven. Okay, great. And now let's look, seven, seven. We can solve this for a seven. And you're looking at a two, four, six. So this has to be your four. And now we're going to be able to solve most of the, the marks remaining here, right? These are all naked singles because only one candidate remaining. Four, six, five. And look how easy this puzzle just falls apart. Would you categorize this as a really hard puzzle once you apply set to it? No, I would not. And that's why I'm trying to show you increasingly harder puzzles as we are going through. So that's a three, that's a two. We're going to 2B down here in block nine. I can win that spot because of this row nine and then column seven. All right, what do we have left here? Um, I'm looking at a one and a six. The six is on top, so that's a one. That's your six. And then a one and a one. So this has to be a a one right there and all we have left where's our seven going to be our seven's going to be right there and then this has to be a five check out these other videos from my channel thank you jovial so much for letting me feature your puzzles on this channel don't forget to buy me a coffee a link thank you so much for watching